Google's new line of products have just been dropped and it is clear they are not messing around and they are coming for Apple and Samsung. But can Google take down Samsung and Apple? Can they be the next big smartphone supplier in the world? Let's find out. So Google's new line of products have just dropped and they have clearly figured out that it's not just about having a big successful smartphone. You need to have an ecosystem to draw everyone in in order to have a successful product. They've just announced the Google Pixel 7 Pro, the Google Pixel Watch, the Google Pixel Buds and coming later on this year will be the Pixel Tablet. Now this all goes hand in hand with their Google Nest products, which is all their home security system, as well as Google Home, which is their answer to Amazon Alexa. That coupled up with GPay and the fact they have a partnership with Fitbit is making Google a top, top dog in the smartphone race. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the Google website. Now, all you need to do to get here is go to the Google search home page and then click on store in the top left and you can see all of the products available here you've got the phones the earbuds watches smart home laptops accessories and offers and they feature the new pixel 7 and pixel 7 pro on the home page and as we scroll down you can see all the other new products the google pixel watch google pixel 7 pro pixel 7 pixel buds pro nest wi-fi Chromecast and their security system. Now let's have a quick look at the phone. We're going to go straight to the 7 Pro because that's all the best features. And here it is featured at £849 in the UK, available in two colour options. And you have that 120Hz smooth display, 6x7 Quad HD display, the new G2 processor, which makes it very fast and a good competitor. For other phones and of course the new cameras featuring the 12 megapixel ultra wide 50 megapixel wide angle and the 48 megapixel telephoto they also have the super res zoom which is a 30 times zoom and the macro focus camera they now introduced cinematic blur into videos which other phones have had for a while but google have just introduced now let's have a look at watches and you've got the brand new Google Pixel Watch, which has just come out, and you feature all the other Fitbit watches as well, namely the Fitbit Sense 2, which is probably their most popular. And then let's have a quick look at their other smart home, the Google Home products. You've got the speakers, displays, streaming services, Wi-Fi, the smoke and CO2 alarm, security cameras, doorbells, thermostats, and other accessories. I really do feature everything here. So their new Google Pixel 7 Pro and 7 have launched. Let's have a look at the features for the Pro. You have that all that familiar features that everyone else has. You have the QHD display, which is 6.7 inches. You have the G2 processor, and you also have 12 gigabits of RAM for faster speed and performance. You have the hole punch design for the camera. And we get some big camera upgrades, including a 48 megapixel main camera. They've introduced cinematic blur and a macro camera as well. Now their camera setup is a triple rear camera system, including a 50 megapixel uh, wide angle lens, a 48 megapixel telephoto lens, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens, as well as that selfie camera. Now on the Pixel 7 Pro, you get 30 times super res zoom, which gives you excellent image quality all round. It's quite clear that Google don't just wanna be another name in the market, and some people have a Google, but most people will either have an Apple or a Samsung. They want to become the next household name. And it's clear that their ecosystem really does cover everything and have something for everyone. Some thermostats, security systems, the Nest Home system, the Google Home system, which rivals Amazon Alexa, the Pixel 7 Watch, the phone, just the Chromebooks as well. They've literally thought of everything they could think of to make this a nice whole ecosystem to be a part of. 
It will be interesting to see when they release their tablet later on, see what features that has, and it will be interesting to see where they go from here. But I think come next year when the iPhone 15 comes out and the new Samsung S23 Ultra, I will be interested to see if Google continue to upgrade their products every year like Samsung and Apple do. So that will keep them in the, in the running for the marketplace, I believe. But we'll see where they go and we'll see what happens. But that's been it from me. If you want to know the best smartphone to get for 2022 going into next year, then watch this video up here and it will tell you my review of the best phones on the market at the moment and which one you should currently get. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.